Hello, my name is Mike Evans, and let me be the first to welcome you to Chemistry 332, Organic Chemistry for Non-Majors. In this introductory video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the why, the what, and the tech behind Chemistry 332. Pay close attention so that you'll be able to maximize your learning potential as the semester moves forward. We place a lot of emphasis on the student as the center of the classroom experience, and both live and online, we strive to provide a learning experience in which you can bring your own interests to the table, as well as interact with instructors and other students to maximize your own learning potential and abilities. So before getting into the how-to of Chem 332, I first wanted to say a few words about why we adopted the course model that we did. Prior to the retooling of Chem 332 in 2008, the course was essentially an instructor-centered course. This meant that there was limited student input on the content. The professor essentially delivered material to students through lecture, bestowed meaning to students, and then students memorized the material and responded on exams by revealing what they had memorized to the best of their ability. There are a variety of problems with this approach. Two of the most notable are that student input is severely limited, and so it's very easy for students to disengage. And there's limited transferability of the learned material to other contexts. So for students that weren't going to become organic chemists, the course was more or less useless. This was grounded in a view of knowledge that's still very common in the sciences, that it's a concrete, transferable thing that's independent of the experience of the learner. So mental structures are the same across all minds, and knowledge can be transferred from one person to another by very simple telling. This approach may raise a number of alarming questions in your mind, such as, what if I don't respond well to the instructor's particular teaching style, or I'm not interested in what he chose to teach, or in a worst case scenario, what if I don't learn at all in the way the instructor learned, or thinks I learned? In particular, Educational psychology has shown us that it's very unlikely that two people, let alone a student and an instructor, learn the same way. Your brain has been learning since the moment you were born. This means that for every life experience you've had, your brain has learned something. And your life experiences are completely and utterly unique. You're distinct from everyone else in the world. Assuming that the brain learns by integrating new information with past life experiences then, this tells us that the learning process of you is different from that of anyone else on the planet, including course instructors. As a result, it becomes clear that collegiate education needs a new paradigm. We need to move away from instructor-centered models and put the student at the center of learning. Because learning is the goal of education, and learning depends on the particular student, it's really the responsibility of the student to take learning into their own hands. Instructors are coaches and mentors, not preachers. We've adopted a much more student-centered approach in Chem 332. This unlocks high student potential because it allows you to learn in your own way and bring your own experiences to the table. It's centered on concepts, so you won't have to memorize a bunch of useless facts, and the transferability of the material is broad, because you're learning what you'd like to learn and what's likely to be applicable to you later in life. The fundamental view behind this approach is that knowledge is constructed by the individual student and depends on existing mental structures. Our goal is to teach you organic chemistry through a course design that will benefit you later on. This puts the power and the responsibility of learning into your hands but we sincerely believe that every single person enrolled in this course has the ability to be successful, and we'd like to see that.